Apprenticeships are training programmes that combine experience in the workplace with off-the-job learning. There are many different apprenticeships available within primary care through the NHS Kent and Medway Primary Care Training Hub, which provide a route into working in clinical areas such as nursing associate, senior healthcare support worker or advanced clinical practitioner, but also non-clinical areas, for example business administrator, senior leader or finance assistant. In January 2020 I started working here at Lonsdale in reception and absolutely loved it. And then in September of 2020, the opportunity to do the apprenticeship came up. The fact that I could earn whilst I was working and learn at the same time and do the degree, that was the only way it was possible to do it. I've got numerous years experience, uh, but this allows me personally to, to complete some unfinished business and to justify my existence in the company in the position I'm in. It does offer people that chance to gain a qualification if they didn't have one or if you feel a bit lost in your career path, it's, it's somewhere to put all that focus into. I knew I wanted to work in healthcare but I didn't know what sector so I thought that if I was a training nurse associate I'd be, I'd be given the opportunity to um, explore the different roles. For new starters to the NHS and existing staff, apprenticeships offer structured on-the-job training with an employer. This allows learners to gain a nationally recognised qualification and apply their learning while continuing to earn a salary. Apprenticeships are a way of upskilling the primary care workforce for the future by addressing shortages in roles and skills. We've been involved in having apprentices in the Grange practice since about 2014 and during that time we've taken a combination of administrative staff and more recently nursing staff down the programme. We actually think it's a very important thing for the business to be involved in because firstly certainly for the younger apprentices it's a really good opportunity for them to not only learn a trade but also to actually gain some academic qualifications. In respect of the nurses it gives us a really clear structured pathway which enables us to make sure we're meeting their needs for them it gives them a really nice academic challenge, so it gives them the opportunity to, to learn, to meet with other students, to actually bounce ideas off each other, and again a really good opportunity for them to develop their skill sets with competencies and also the knowledge base underpinning it. It's really key that we train people to fill in the positions that are needed for the patients, so by taking on the apprentices we grow our own and they fit the role and it's great because they've become part of the family. The apprenticeship gives me that dual role between being able to sit in with the GPs, learn from their experience, take their knowledge, sit in with the advanced nurses and see how they run their clinics but still maintain my nursing identity, but enhance it, advance it and be able to give that back to the patients. That's why I chose apprenticeship. As a practice manager, I felt initially it was a very exciting thing to get involved in and I contacted the training hub and they were able to advise me um, on the right apprenticeships and the right roles for our practice. Um, we looked at this together and then they supported us through the process of enrolling the apprenticeships, looking at the pathways and setting up the digital account. I then have been able to go back to the training hub and the university to help with the whole process. And it's great to have those links with the training coordinators and, and everyone behind the scenes to say, right, we've got this need here in our surgery. I've got a member of staff that has a real keen interest in this particular area. What's available? Can we develop this person in this way and support them to do that here? To undertake an apprenticeship pathway, the apprentice will be required to submit evidence of Level 2 Functional Skills, or GCSE, at least at Grade C or 4 in Maths and English. It is advisable that this has been achieved by the start of the apprenticeship programme. The Kent and Medway Primary Care Training Hub will be able to advise and support both the employer and employee to access functional skills providers in your locality.
My role is to supervise the training nursing associates and the nursing associates um, to identify any areas of particular interest and then encourage these um, and to identify any relevant training um, that they may need and then to follow up with the competencies when we're back in practice. It is quite important to ensure that you've done your practice assessor training initially. This is supported through your training hub and enhances your skill set in terms of being able to support someone on an apprenticeship pathway. Primarily, I coordinate the, the apprentices starting their training in whatever way. Um, we've had several through the surgery, so it might be in a clinical um, aspect or they might be training administratively. It's an entire surgery approach to how we support our apprenticeships. For the clinical ones, we do it as an entire nursing team approach. So they may spend time with various members of the team and obviously hone in on the skills that they need to learn to complete their uh, qualification you can actually learn an awful lot from these apprentices and um, they bring a lot back to the team they share their learning um, they can actually bring in really good new ideas that they've got through other talking to other people on their course or even just from their own life experiences the fact that we actually get financial support to enable us to do this is amazing as well because it kind of at least helps recognize that there's an investment that the practice has to put in in respect of supporting that person as well I think when you start new learning I think it's always going to be a challenge managing the work life the learning life but actually the university and my work are very supportive in helping me time manage and it has developed my time man management skills from doing so as well. I haven't had to pay for a single thing um, while I was doing the apprenticeship um, you have all the support of everyone around you. It is absolutely well worth all the effort that goes into it because what you get out the end is a staff member that feels valued, feels supported and actually has real buy into the practice and actually will want to stay with you for the long term. Speak to your practice manager as soon as you can and absolutely do it. It's the best thing I've done in my career so far. There is enough support there and the university teaches you and gives you everything you need. So as long as you get that protected learning time, go for it. At the end of all of this, I will be a registered degree nurse, part one of the NMC um, Nursing and Midwifery Council, um, which I'll be very, very pleased with. Whether it's on your CV or whether it's just for your own personal satisfaction, it's just a fantastic opportunity.